So if you remember the uh, big movie Bird Box that was released on Netflix, it appears that Trent Reznor does too. If you don't know who Trent Reznor is, he's the man who scored the movie, and he is also the man behind Nine Inch Nails, the big industrial rock group, one of my favorite bands, um, and he's just one of my favorite dudes. I love Trent Reznor. But in a recent interview, he came out and said, Bird Box was a fucking waste of time. <laughs> you get him, Rezzy. And he even went on to say, we thought no one's going to see this fucking movie, which he said about the uh, Netflix blockbuster. Uh, so if you don't remember Bird Box, uh, it was a film released on Netflix. It was kind of in the same vein of The Quiet Place or... Um, like The Happening, I said, I think I, I reviewed on this channel, it kind of seems like a mix between those two films, and it was huge, uh, I guess over 45 million accounts on Netflix watched it, it was just a sensation for a while with people posting all sorts of memes with their eyes covered and, you know, people walking in traffic uh, not not being able to see and doing all sorts of things with blindfolds on, and overall the movie was, I think, extremely overrated. Uh, it was it was okay. Um, I think in my review I gave it like a seven out of ten. Like I thought it was going to be a lot worse. It's probably why I thought it was decent. I really didn't expect much, um, but it, it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't that great. I don't know why it became this huge sensation. Maybe it's just because people saw Netflix. Uh, I could actually make a movie um, that was uh, that had big actors and was actually like on par with some of the bigger uh, bigger titles that could come out um, on a theatrical release. I don't know. Trent Reznor said the experience uh, with scoring Bird Box was horrible. So in this recent interview, uh, Reznor pretty much slammed how the people behind the film used his score. Uh, if you don't know, Trent Reznor has scored huge movies, mostly by David Fincher. Uh, it includes The Social Network, which I believe he won an uh, Oscar for, um, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Gone Girl, uh, and Waves. But, as far as Bird Box goes, uh, Trent Reznor says he looked back at the experience and calls it a huge waste of time. Why is that? Well, because they just didn't use his music the way that he wanted to. Trent Reznor says, when we got immersed in it, it felt like some people were phoning it in and you're stuck with a film editor who had uh, real bad taste. And he says that's kind of a barricade to getting stuff done in the film, which, uh, yeah, I mean, if you have somebody who is, <laughs> is just phoning it in, not really putting their for, uh, full effort into something, isn't passionate about uh, something, especially a film, and if everyone's not on the same page, it's going to suffer. It's going to be a barricade. But he said that was a barricade, and the final icing on the shit cake was we were on tour when they mixed it. And they mixed the music so low, you couldn't hear it anyway. Uh, which I do remember that's a part of the film that I thought was kind of weird, because I, I knew that Trent Reznor was behind the score, but the, the soundtrack just it never really shined through. It was always just kind of in the background. It was nice. It was, it was real nice, I think they did a real great job, but it feels like they kind of underplayed it. You know, if you get someone like Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, who have done The Social Network, uh, to score your film, you probably want to put that uh, as one of the, the forefronts of it. You know, that's, that's a real good thing. It's, that's a big thing for publicity and just getting the name of your film out there. Uh, it can also get people interested in seeing it, which obviously I don't think a lot of people know that they did score the film and it still got tons of people to watch it anyway, so that's not really anything against it, but still, maybe could have helped a little bit more. And he went on to say that after all of that, he thought that no one was going to see the film, and of course, it was pretty much the hugest movie ever on Netflix, uh, which really, really sucks. Uh, it sounds like Trent and Atticus really put in a lot of time and effort um, and passion into making the music, but it just the composer of the film and the uh, producers, whoever was in charge of mixing the music, they just didn't care. They just they they really undersold what package they got from Trent and Atticus, 
in this situation, which really sucks uh, because they really should have highlighted that score. It really was good. But yeah, I just thought that was something interesting. Uh, it has to do with Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails, Bird Box, which is a movie that was just super hyped up. And I think it's just, it's really interesting to see kind of behind the scenes after the movie comes out that uh, the person who scored the film felt like they were kind of cheated in a way, especially coming from such a big name. Yeah, <laughs> love Trent. I think this is awesome. He came out and said this, he just admitted it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. How much does a score uh, really influence a film when you watch it? Uh, do you think this is a big deal? Would, would you feel ripped off if you <laughs> made a score, uh, made some music for a film, and they just pretty much put it at the lowest volume they possibly could? But yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, that's it.